Hey guys, we're checking out the Specialized Turbo Taro 4.0 equipped here. It's got the fenders, the rack, and this bike is set up with the TCD2 Mastermind little LCD color display panel and button pad. You don't need the Mission Control app, but this thing is great. I think it's actually one of the best smartphone apps for electric bikes on the market today. It's the same app for all of their electric bikes, whether you've got like an SL Creo, maybe you've got a Turbo Levo, all the bikes are using the same smartphone app, but they might have different displays. So, you know, some of the fancier bikes have the TCU, the turbo control unit, it's built into that top tube. So getting into the Mission Control app, go ahead and launch it. The bike is, is not connected because it's not powered on. I had to turn on Bluetooth. It uses Bluetooth low energy, so it's not gonna use a whole lot of power. Go ahead and turn the bike on real quick. There we go, boots up pretty quickly. We've got the, the beeps and stuff. And then there's our main display readout. Now our bike is connected. It says Taro 4.0 EQ, so that's the equipped. So this is the main screen. We've got our battery charge level percentage right there next to the name of the bike. Lock system, which is really cool. I have not registered this bike, so I'm not gonna be able to lock it, but you can lock and unlock the bike with your smartphone app, or you can set up a pin code, which you can type right into the display itself. So that's really neat. We've got ride, which records our ride stats, tune, diagnostics, my ride, and settings. Let's start out with ride. Basically, it shows where we're at. It says start the ride. You can see your ride stats. There we go. We got our speed, distance, battery level, percentage, assist mode, time from start, report percentage. They're very similar readouts from uh, the actual TCD unit on the bike itself. And you can adjust quite a few of these, reset them. We've got smart control, so this lets us adjust the power of the motor so that we're gonna be back home or finishing our ride with a certain percentage remaining. Tune, now this is really cool. There are three levels of assist, eco trail turbo, but we've also got micro adjust. So on this display over here, if we were to press the F2 button down here, it lets us adjust in 10% increments. So see that 50%? We can go 60%, 70%. So with just one click of a button here, not even using the smartphone, we can adjust each one of those three assist levels with 10 steps. I think that's fantastic. But you can also adjust these kind of defaults. You can change the support level and the peak power for each one of these and kind of save your profile that way. I have messed around with that and then reset it several times because it's just so much fun to play with. Then you've got your readouts on your display. You can change the order of these. You can change what shows up to them. And again, I find myself resetting this frequently, but don't miss out on this down here. It says display brightness. So you can actually change how bright the TCD is right here so it's not blinding you while you ride. I mean, that's fantastic. I, I would prefer if that setting was actually built into the display so you didn't have to open the app and stuff, but it's neat that they have it. We can turn off vibration and beep. You might've heard the beeping earlier when we were pressing buttons and you can't feel it, but that thing actually vibrates too. So it's got some haptic feedback, very cool. We can change the starting menu. So do we wanna start an eco or maybe trail or turbo just straight away. Fake channel, this is kind of interesting. So you can send this information to uh, a separate device. So if you have like a Garmin or some sort of Apple device, Apple Health, you can send that information or you can save energy and turn that off. I think that's kind of cool. Calling it fake channel is, is interesting. Something, kind of a terminology I'm not as familiar with. Diagnostic, so getting some feedback about the odometer, serial number, wheel circumference, battery, health. So we're at 100%, that's great. And then our charging status, we're a little bit below full. And then each one of our hardware devices. So we got the motor display, advanced diagnostics, maybe take it into a, a shop to get some help. That USB-C charging port also doubles as like a hardware diagnostics interface for shops. But this is kind of neat. You can actually send some feedback along with the fault logs and maybe get some help remotely from Specialized. That's, that's going above and beyond, in my opinion device updates so you can update this thing sort of over the air, but you do need the smartphone to do that. You probably download the update and then sync it with your with your smartphone. It says your system's up to date. That's fantastic. And then Turbo Connect display updates. It says, you know, do you wanna update this? I'm gonna go ahead and leave that alone for now too. Heading back to the main menu, we got My Rides. So we have a log of all the different rides that you've done. You can kind of go back and see where you've been and how you performed. And then the settings menu, we can add or remove bikes. So I've been experimenting with the Como SL 5.0 and then I got the Taro 4.0 EQ. 
can connect, disconnect, remove bikes. And when I was going through registration, it looks like you can specify that you, you bought the bike secondhand. And, and that's kind of nice, because if you know I'm reviewing this bike and someone gets it later, they don't have to somehow get back in touch with me for me to relinquish the bike. I can say, okay, I bought this secondhand, as long as there isn't a password set on it. Devices, so there's no paired sensors, but this is what I was talking about. Please make sure your BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy, heart rate sensor is turned on or active and bring it close to the phone. So I love that you can use Bluetooth Low Energy as well as Ant Plus. Those are two different standards for wireless that could be used for a heart rate monitor, for example. Got our profile here my email, my name, my gender, where I'm at, my weight, my height. And again, I, I think when you set the units like metric or imperial, that might relate to that. This is one area where I feel like Specialized could have specified down here, said weight in pounds or weight in kilograms, because it's just a number field. I don't really know, you know, it's, to me, that's a missed opportunity. It should be more clear on that so you're not guessing. But then again, when you back out, you can see that we're in metric or imperial. So I'm, I'm guessing that it, it goes off of that. Uh, linked accounts, so Strava or Komoot, these are both really cool ride apps and you can sync your data across them. Is the display always active? Auto start active? Contact legal information help? So that's it, that's, that's the specialized mission control app. Again, I think this is one of the best apps out there. And I think it's neat that you can do so much from the displays themselves. You don't need to have the app out all the time. It's got its own settings menu. Again, I did a separate video on this and I went in depth, so check that out. And I've reviewed the specialized TurboTero 4.0 EQ. Thank you to City Cycles in Langley and Specialized for you know, letting me borrow this demo bike and, and go deep with it. I love you guys, ride safe and we'll see you next time.